We start the dive by swimming over a shallow reef and then abruptly over the edge for the big drop off wall dive. We pass a couple of masked bannerfish on the way down. Big drop off is famous for its incredible sponge colors and thick growths of tree soft corals. We're now at 80 feet. Behind this soft tree coral is a titan triggerfish. As I said earlier, the colors are awesome. Lots of red sponges, green leaf-like algae, blue spreading octocoral, rope sponges. hard branching green coral. Spreading star coral and coming up on some blue base sponges with little sea cucumbers crawling around on them. Now a leek flower soft coral green algae takes the form of leaves. Now over some leek flower coral to a Clark's anemone or clownfish on this brilliant red anemone. A six-banded angelfish distracts me momentarily. I found this highly camouflaged leaf fish, and they're a relative of the poisonous scorpion fish, and it will sway back and forth like a blade of algae. A pink tree soft coral. We seem to be floating on air, as the visibility here in Plow can sometimes reach 200 feet. This hard branching green coral is covered by other types of coral and sponges. It's almost being smothered. A sheet coral has buds of white boring sponges popping out of it. This is the female square spot antheus, and they tend to be herded by the blue males. This is the male with this light blue square on its side and thus its name square spot antheus. This isn't a buckeye flower, but the egg case of the serene sea slug and the slug itself. This is the egg mass of a pink anemone fish under the flange of the anemone and a shot of the pink anemone fish themselves. Now a harlequin sweet lips related to groupers. This yellow giant fan, Gregornian, can grow up to four meters or over 12 feet wide. Out in the open off the wall are a large school of pyramid butterfly fish and they are feeding on plankton floating by. Now a large patch of black coral and when it's alive it has this golden color. A shot of me with my pink tinted face mask so I can see the colors accurately. All of us in our group had a light so we could check out caves and crevices. With the help of my light, I can look underneath this dark overhang and see the true colors of these beautiful oscillated corals.
A six-banded angelfish heads up the wall. A big-nosed unicorn fish with its long tail streamers. A courting male can go from black to iridescent blue. These brain coral polyps are out, making this gorgeous pink and blue pattern. Now a peacock grouper. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I'm having a good time. Now another thick section of the golden colored black coral. And I think from here on out, the soft tree corals start to get thicker. A female orange striped triggerfish. And it's headed into the uh, golden black coral. There's an amazing variety of colors in the soft tree corals. There's so much activity going on here, it's hard for the diver to take it all in. These bright red sea fans are the knotted fan coral. And another beautiful red specimen. These are the waving tentacles of a lobster in its crevice. I see the waving tentacles of another lobster and I'm going to move in for a close-up. Now I'm taking the filter off of the camera to get the true colors and then I forget to put it back on. So the rest of these pictures are a little more subdued, uh, but this is the yellow mask angelfish, and it's quite uncommon in Palau. Now an emperor big eye, and a lined sweet lips, another member of the grouper family. This is the teardrop butterfly fish with this upside down teardrop. And we're getting low on air, and it's time to head on up and get back on the eclipse. <laughs>